All right, people, welcome back. Another card review. So, as you guys know, Burning Abyss are now not a TCG exclusive deck anymore. They're moving over to the OCG, and with that, they got their own OCG exclusive card. If you guys don't know what Burning Abyss is, you guys need to get under get un from under that rock that you're under because Burning Abyss are too good. What well, probably the best TCG archetype, pure TCG archetype that we've had yet, and. <laughs> They get it in the OCG, and now they get their own card. So, this is Beatrice, the Eternal Lady. So, here in the TCG, we were always like, hmm, where's Beatrice? Where's Beatrice? We thought that maybe the Fusion Monster was going to be Beatrice. Nah, we never got Beatrice. But all of a sudden, there's this new C OCG got it, and it is Beatrice. So, uh, we got the image of it before, but we never knew what it did, its stats, or anything. But now we do, and we're going to go ahead and review it. So, Beatrice is a Light Fairy XC Effect Monster, rank 6. 2,500 def attack, 2,800 defense. Get off! <laughs> it's made with two level 6 monsters, but I seriously doubt you'll ever be making that in Burning Abyss, since of course you cannot control two Virgils. It would pretty much have to be a Virgil and a Malakota, but who runs the ritual, right? <laughs> you know, you probably just run good and evil just for that search. So, it, hopefully everybody's helping. Maybe you can go ahead and slap it on Dante. Well, of course you can. So, you can also like, see some in this card. By sending one Burning Abyss monster from your hands to the graveyard and using one Dante monster, that's really where it says one Dante monster you control, as an XC material, XC materials attached to that monster also become XC materials on this card. So, uh, it's pretty much trying to give Downward Magician a run for her money. It's like, hey, bitch, get off my man. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> the, uh, Dante is my man. So, Beatrice, of course, get, uh, goes on top. So, Beatrice goes on top of Dante. Yeah. <laughs> the only problem, of course, and the biggest problem with Beatrice is that it's not Beatrice, the Eternal Lady, Malabench, and the Burning Abyss. It's the Eternal Lady, and that's it. So, of course, she's not a Burning Abyss, so all the Burning Abyss monsters that say you can control only Burning Abyss are going to die. So, this whole, like, you excuse summon her on top of uh, Dante by sending a burning of this monster from your hands in the graveyard. If it's one of the summoning ones, such as, you know, uh, Sir or Graf, that monster summoned will, of course, die because uh, she is not a burning of this monster, which makes her just a little bit worse, definitely, the fact that she's not a burning of this monster. So, in that sense, she pretty much is downered, you know? She's essentially downered if, as if, what, downered would have... Dante and Nuxi material, because I think Downer starts at 21 and gains 200 attacks, so 25. This is 25, so essentially this is another Downer, except you got Pitcher Burning your best instead of just being like, alright, well, main phase 2, slap it on top of Dante. So, uh, I'm not definitely not saying that Downer is out of a job because of this bitch, but, uh, you know, to, to give her a run for her money, pretty much. So... This card also has other effects, but once again, keep in mind, she's not a Burning Abyss. But anyway, her second effect is once per turn, during either player's turn, except the turn this card was summoned this way, i.e. you know, slapped on top of Dante, you can attach the material from this card, in which case, what i.e. either that be Dante or whatever XC materials Dante had, uh, and you can send one card from your deck to your graveyard. Yes, people. Yes, people. She is a Lavavo chain. So, um, if you, of course, attach to Dante, Dante will get the fact to go ahead and grab that Burning Abyss card back from the graveyard to your hand. But, i.e., she's not Burning Abyss, so whenever you detach, remember, you can't send any more Burning Abyss. And whatever you send from the deck to the graveyard, if it's one of them Burning Abyss monsters, like Sir Graf, the monster they summoned will, of course, die because she's not a Burning Abyss monster. But she is a Lavalo chain, being able to send... A card from the deck to the graveyard. And as we know, that is a very powerful effect. You know, we got the various knights, especially Armageddon Knight, who uh, is used very oftenly to go ahead and send dark monsters. We have Foolish at 1, we have Blah 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 Chain banned. So, as we know, sending monsters from the deck to the graveyard is very powerful. And of course, uh, Burning Abyss was never able to really utilize uh, Love Hollow Chain. Well, it would have been probably pretty helpful to go ahead and send various Burning Abyss monsters from the deck to the graveyard. Uh, they just really never got the access to Lava Chain because they didn't make rank 4s, but now they kind of have their own as uh, Beatrice. And of course they do play Foolish and all that milling with Dante, so no, you know, instead of milling, it's controlled sending. So you get to go ahead and send 
during either player's turn. So if someone, if your opponent tries to go ahead and summon something that might threaten Beatrice or whatever plays, you can just be like, all right, I'm going to use my fact attack to see material. Go ahead and send Farfa, Farfa, banish that to the end phase. So uh, pretty good effects. You can go ahead and send, uh, what, a Lich as kind of like a, a break this kill, kind of monster negating, or you can like spin back a back row with... Um, I don't know all the, all the Burning Abyss monsters, but there's a handful of things. You can do Cow Cap, you can, you know, end the duel with a burn on Barbar. -bar. So, of course, Burning Abyss are not just composed of, you know, Sir and Graf and Skarn. There's others too. Those are just the best ones. So, you're probably sending one of them to go ahead and get their effect during your opponent's turn. But, uh, you know, while, while chain effect on Beatrice is not terrible, you know, it's a little bit more than what Downer does. All Downer does is like, hey, you know, if I battle, you know, I am going to be detaching, but I guess, you know, she does have Pierce, so give and take, give and take. But Beatrice has one more effect, and it's probably the best effect of all, and probably the reason why you would want to run her at all. If this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Burning Abyss monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Yes, people, you can go ahead and summon a Virgil. Without Secret Summon, you can go ahead and summon Pilgrim, I know. I've only seen Pilgrim be summoned a handful of times in Burning Abyss. It's a pretty difficult card to summon. But, you know, in particular matchups, it's actually pretty decent. I mean, a 2800B that can't be targeted, go ahead and send a, a what is it? I think it's a Burning Abyss card from your hands or graveyard to draw an additional card. Not bad, not bad. And I think when it's, I think when it's sent to a graveyard, I think you pick something out of your opponent's hand. And it's been a cool minute since we looked at a card review of uh, Pilgrim, but I think I did it. So I'll go ahead and link in the description the link to that review. But yes, you can actually summon Pilgrim. Alright, so that's pretty good. You can go ahead and summon a Virgil, or you can go ahead and summon a Pilgrim. You can go ahead and summon a Dante, and of course when a Dante is sent to the graveyard, go ahead and get searched. But yes, that is the reason why you want to go ahead and play this bitch. Because being able to go ahead and summon a Burning Abyss, summon your egg deck, ignoring, ignoring summon conditions, is very powerful. So, the only thing that's really keeping this bitch from being super broken is uh, just the fact that she doesn't have Burning Abyss in her name. So she kind of hinders the place, but so does Downer. So... Uh, I gotta, all I gotta say is, she's giving Downer to run for her money, um, you know, a Lavo chain during either player's turn is pretty good, and being able to summon a Burning Abyss monster from the extra deck and ignoring some intentions is very powerful. So I'd say maybe run, like, I'd say probably one, you know, because, uh, of course you may not have the Burning Abyss monsters in your hand to go ahead and summon her, because of course you gotta send a Burning Abyss monster from your hand and then slap her on top of a Dante, while Downer you just go to main phase 2 and just put the down, uh, the, on top of Dante. So I wouldn't say Downer's out of a job, but definitely give uh, Downer a run for money. And being able to go ahead and summon that Pilgrim is great. So there you go, people. So it looks like the story is over. So of course we have Dante. Then we have Pilgrim Dante. And then we have Virgil, who's actually Dante in disguise. And this isn't Beatrice. This is actually a uh, sex change Dante. Because Dante was like, you know what, fuck it, I gotta be everybody in the deck. So if I gotta be a girl, I'll be a girl. But y'all ain't gonna judge me because I am Dante, Pimp Slag King of the Burning Abyss. I, I actually got a uh, name change. It's actually Dante Pimp Slag King, King of the Burning Abyss, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> Cause, anyway. Because it's, it's, it's not Burning Abyss, it's Dante Abyss. <laughs> so there you go, people. So tell me what you guys think about Beatrice in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys next Monday with another card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Fuck Burning Abyss.